architecture. This is a, like the one we live in, twin dome. This is a tri-dome three. And this is a basic, basic framing except for the major tubes. All the stress lines, all the structural lines go down to the ground in these support structures. Now this is a bathroom units for the undeveloped countries, all molded in one. And the wastewater from the sink goes back in and we flush the jar with it. So we'll make about 50 types of bathrooms. You pick what you want. And uh, these are just furnishings, kitchen unit. The shape memory alloys are used in these buildings at the tip. That keeps the building upright in case of an earthquake. The shape memory is used that way. And then if this is a, a thousand passenger airline for the future. You notice there's no ailerons. You know what they are? Elevators or flaps. We don't cut into our structure. Yeah. We discharge electrons with the wingtip. <coughs> and for, we can control the airflow electrostatically. And so we don't need to cut into your structure. Now if you're coming in for a landing, say your landing gear doesn't come down, for whatever reasons, that turns on the sprinkler system in the runway. Now people are not killed in most crashes, they're killed by fire. So all the, when the landing gear doesn't come down and you're near the airport, the fuel is blown out by an inert gas. So you glide in. But let's say you land and your brakes fail. Nets come up on the runway when the brake fails. That's what I mean by an integrated system. Airports are owned by somebody else. The airlines are owned by Eastern Airlines. They're, they're not integrated well enough. Am I going too fast for you? Mm -mm. So to kids, they think this is the last airplane. There's a lot that goes on before you get to this. And then I show them a conventional helicopter. And the blades turn this way, the body tends to go the other way, and this fan pulls it back. And I say, well, this is where helicopters are going. Small engines on the tip, that's less torque. And the center doesn't turn. There's two pendulums that move up like very fast. That stops the center from turning. Unless you speed up one on the other side, like a gyroscope. And so, this is what the helicopter will get to be. And then after the helicopter comes this unit, you can lift up and you shut your turbines and travel forward. So these are all the various stages that aircraft will go through. You know, so I show these kids and they say, which is the right one? It depends on the time. 